Marvel Studios confirmed more than a dozen actors that will take the spotlight in Season 2 of the Loki series on Disney+. Loki will officially become the MCU's first Disney Plus series to continue into a second season when the God of Mischief finally returns to the small screen near the end of 2023. Continuing to play the leading role in his first solo MCU project, Tom Hiddleston will bring the God of Mischief back for his first full appearance in the MCU's Phase 5. He was last seen during the post-credits scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in the audience for a presentation about time, which ties directly into this new season this season. Loki will be a full-fledged member of the TVA as he looks to fix the multiverse and keep things from going into chaos. Following the Sacred Timeline's destruction at the end of Season 1, playing a co-starring role in nearly every episode of Season 1 was Sofia DiMartino as the Loki variant, Sylvie, who's set to return in full force for Season 2. She was last seen killing He Who Remains and staying at the Citadel at the end of time while the timeline fell apart, although she's expected to jump back into the action quickly upon her return. Returning for season 2 after a guest starring role in the season 1 finale will be Jonathan Majors as the villainous Kong the Conqueror. With fans ready to see the Victor Timely variant this time around, this character was first teased in the post-credits scene from Ant-Man 3, and he's reportedly set to be a key antagonist in this new season for Loki and the TVA. Majors is currently clouded in controversy due to his ongoing court case for domestic abuse, leaving his place in the MCU's future uncertain after this series. Following his Oscar win for Best Supporting Actor in the 2022 hit movie Everything Everywhere All at Once, Ku Hui Kwan will take his star power to Marvel Studios for a debut in the MCU. Best known for his role in that hit movie along with his history as Short Round in Indiana Jones and The Temple of Doom, Kwan has fans giddy to see what he can do under the Marvel brand. Kwan will reportedly play a character named Ouroboros, who's said to be in charge of all technology issued and developed at the TVA and the potential for his character to shine is sky-high. Owen Wilson will be back with the MCU as Mobius for a second round of action, reprising his role as one of the top field agents at the TVA for Season 2. He was last seen trying to figure out who Loki was after the Sacred Timeline's destruction at the end of Season 1, but he also stood in the audience next to the God of Mischief in Ant-Man 3 asking how Victor Timely was. This terrifying figure, while it's still unclear if this is the same Mobius from Season 1, He'll be right by Loki's side as they uncover all of Kang's secrets behind the TVA this time around. Judge Ravana Ronslayer returns to the fold behind Gugu Ambadaras' performance for Season 2, with the character having last been seen exiting through a portal to an undisclosed location at the end of last season. And with the actress teasing that no time has passed between the two seasons, curiosity about her journey will be high upon her return. While it's unclear if this series will bring back the same variant of Hunter B-15 as Season 1, Wanmi Mosaku will suit up once again as the TVA's Minutemen leader for the next six episodes. She was last seen alongside Mobius and Loki as they worked through the Kong mayhem to figure out their next move in Episode 6. Only appearing in half of Season 1's six episodes, Eugene Cordero made an impression on fans as TVA worker Casey especially once he revealed his desk to be full of Infinity Stones, Cordero was bumped up to a series regular for season 2, and while his story is still being kept under wraps, he'll be in for plenty more comedic moments as he gets more screen time than he did two years ago. Following his impressive work on the Blind Spotting TV series, Rafael Casal was confirmed to join the MCU with a role in Loki's season 2, although that role is still being hidden from the public. Set photos showed him performing in the UK wearing what appears to be an outfit worn by TVA prisoners, possibly teasing his proclivity for crime across the timeline. However, there's no telling what he'll do to get on the TVA's radar. Towing the line between good and evil, master voice actress Tara Strong planted her flag in the MCU by providing the voice for the TVA's unsettling mascot. Miss Minutes. By the end of season 1, the story revealed that she was under Kang's watch the entire time, guiding Loki and Sylvie through the Citadel at the end of time and working with Judge Runslayer before the TVA fell. While plot details are mostly being kept a secret for season 2, she's confirmed to play an even bigger role when the show returns as fans see a new take on the organization that oversees all of time and space. Along with Jonathan Major's Kong variants, Marvel Studios will also introduce Kate Dickey to the MCU in a villainous role during Loki's second season, on Disney Plus after boasting credits on other major properties like Game of Thrones, for the time being, Dickey's role is being kept under wraps, although there are countless options for characters that she could play who would pose a serious threat to the fabric of the multiverse. 
only boasting a few credits on her resume thus far, including an appearance on The Witcher for Netflix. Liz Carr will take her talents to the MCU for a thus undisclosed role in season 2 of Loki. After only playing a minor role as Hunter Deeg 90 in Loki season 1, Neil Ellis will look to make more of an impact on the MCU. With his return to the TVA in season 2 to Ellis appeared in four of Loki's first six episodes alongside the TVA's Minutemen, and with the organization going through plenty of major changes, he'll look to adapt and grow as a character while the Minutemen attempt to correct and protect the timeline. Season 2 of Marvel Studios' Loki will debut on Disney Plus on October 6th.